Teamwork is a cornerstone of victory in World of Tanks. Flanking maneuvers, baiting enemy tanks, and combined attacks will give your team a critical edge over the enemy. That is where platoons come in. Starting a platoon with your Xbox Live friends begins in the garage. Pressing the back button on your controller will bring up your Xbox Live friends list. From here, select the friend you want to join your platoon and select Invite to Game. Alternatively, if one of your friends wants you to join their platoon, you will receive an invitation through Xbox Live. Press the Xbox Guide button to open this invitation and accept. On the left, you will now see a list of platoon members. The platoon leader will always be listed on top. Notice the question mark icon next to the platoon member's gamer tag. This icon indicates that a tank has not been selected. A platoon leader must always pick their tank first, as their selection will determine the range of tiers available to the rest of the platoon. For example, if the platoon leader selects a tier 4 tank, other platoon members will be prevented from selecting tiers that are too high or too low. Once a platoon member has picked their tank, the question mark will be replaced by an icon representing their tank, and the tank name will appear in the platoon list. When in a platoon, selecting a tank in the garage will not take you directly to the battle queue. You will need to wait for the rest of your platoon to select their tanks for battle. Information on their choices will update in real time. If the platoon leader cancels their tank selection, all other tanks in the platoon will be deselected. As the platoon leader, it is your duty to make sure you have selected a tier that allows all of your platoon mates to join. The leader may queue the platoon for battle as soon as they've chosen a tank, so make sure all members are ready. Once in battle, you will notice that your fellow platoon members appear on your mini-map as gold icons, as opposed to the rest of your team who appear as green. Also, your fellow platoon members will take priority in voice chat. Hey, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna ram him. Making it easier for you to communicate strategies and coordinate your attacks. Once the match has completed, you will return to the garage with the rest of your platoon members. Here, you can change tanks if you wish, before joining your next match. Try to coordinate with your fellow platoon members and pick an effective combination of tanks and tiers. For example, if one of your platoon members is an artillery and the other is a tank destroyer, consider taking a light or medium tank into battle so that you can use your speed and maneuverability to spot targets for your team. It is important to note that even if your tank is destroyed during battle and you return to the garage early, or if you must return to the garage from the pause menu for any reason, you will always remain in your platoon until you actively choose to leave. If you wish to leave a platoon, you can do so in between matches. In the garage, simply press the B button and a dialog box will appear asking if you wish to leave the platoon. Select OK by pressing the A button and you will leave the platoon. If you are a platoon leader and wish to remove a player from your platoon, you can do so by highlighting the platoon member and pressing the X button. Utilizing platoons is one of the easiest and most effective ways to gain an advantage over your enemies. Coordinate your attacks, communicate, and watch each other's backs, and you will surely triumph over your enemies. Now let's battle.